Dave Meltzer reports in The Observer, of course, that Shawn Michaels is moving to Orlando to take over as head coach. Michaels had said to people that he's relocating himself and his family to Orlando. He had been leaving, living in Texas to take over as a main coach at the Performance Center. It said that um, he's taking over for the position that Terry Taylor had, but Taylor is now out of action due to neck surgery. Uh, first of all, uh, what was it like working with Terry Taylor? Uh, <laughs> well, Terry and I didn't have a terrible relationship. Uh, I love when we, you laugh at the beginning of these, <laughs> yeah, the but we, we also, uh, didn't have the greatest relationship. Um, I felt that Terry, uh, sometimes didn't possess the attributes to be a, okay, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me rewind that. He did possess the attributes of being a great coach because Terry was a really good worker and he had incredible knowledge because you think about it, he's been through the territories. He was, you know, he, he was in all um, of them. Yeah. You know, he was in yeah. Texas. He was in mid South, uh, you know, Jim Crockett. So he was there and he possesses all that. Sometimes as far as delivering the knowledge, he was not the best at it, uh, for being a coach. Uh, also I felt sometimes he had his own motives and I'll leave it at that. Uh, but, you know, we, um, he and I didn't always see eye to eye, and that's okay. You know, that's not always going to happen. We didn't have a bad relationship. We never, you know, gotten arguments or anything like that. We just sometimes didn't see eye to eye. Um, but go ahead, did, please. Did you have a coach that, that you – that really took you under their wing and, or, uh, that you had a great relationship with over oh the Oh my God. Uh, who would you highlight? Oh my gosh. Um, Norman Smiley was an incredible coach and he, I'm sure he still is, but he would, he would focus on the nuances of things and he would take the time to explain the whys. He didn't expect you just to understand. And if you couldn't understand, he would take the time to make sure that you did understand or at least understand his point. And he'd let you know, hey, I'm not saying this is completely right. I'm just saying this is my thoughts on it. Um, he was incredible. As far as uh, I didn't work with Robbie Brookside too much because Robbie was more hands on with the younger talent. But he was more hands on with the younger talent because Robbie, uh, when it comes to basics and fundamentals, man, I don't think you're going to meet someone uh, too much better than him. And he would teach these uh, not not just like the basics and fundamentals of a lockup or headlock takeover or whatever, but also body positioning, um, body language, you know. Uh, the proper way to flip bump and things like that to keep you safe. He was incredible at that. So Bobby was great. Or Robbie was great. I'm sorry. Um, obviously I said, Matt Bloom is the best head coach I've ever, you know, uh, worked for. I've ever, uh, been associated with, uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't get to work with him too much, but I loved Carino Carino. Uh, Steve Carino is, a fountain of knowledge as far as wrestling goes. And he loves wrestling. He's passionate about wrestling. Um, and I know he had a lot of respect from a lot of the people there, because again, he was, he was such a great teacher in the sense where he, again, he would, he was patient, you know? Um, yeah, he was great. Uh, and then, you know, going to, um, Going to the weight room, uh, I called him, you know, we, we used to always joke with each other, but Sean from the weight room, he was an incredible coach teaching us different fundamentals and, and thoughts and ideologies on working out and how to prolong our, our health, the health of our bodies. Uh, so, yeah, there was a ton of great staff there and great coaches there. It would be uh, remiss if I didn't mention Colby Carino is an amazing uh, young talent who's going to do a lot of good things. I don't know if you've seen Colby wrestle much, but I think he's got a big future ahead of him. I haven't seen him wrestle too much. I've seen a few different things of him, and I am impressed by him. Uh, Steve did send me the match that he and Colby had, and I I loved that match. It was it was incredible. Um, I don't I hear a lot of rumblings about Colby's future, so uh, hopefully you know he um, he does well.